here in Design Space, I am going to insert a shape. I'm going to use a square. And I need to change the size because this is going to be the size of the space. It's going, I'm going to use this as a canvas or a template. And I'm going to unlock the lock. You can do that up here or you can also do that down here on the shape. And I'm going to type 9.50 to 6.5. So then this rectangle, I know that that's the space I can use for my vinyl. So I'm just going to change that to be, let's see, I'm just going to change the color just for um, the purposes of the video. Okay, so I want to click that and I usually lock it back so it kind of stays and, you know, something crazy doesn't happen. So I'm going to insert text. By default, Cricut Sans comes up, but I'm going to use my systems font and I'm going to use a font name Heartbeat. I love it. It's a script font and it is a paid font. Um, you do have to pay for it, but there are other script fonts that are free. If you just Google free script fonts, you can definitely um, find some of those. So I type the little girl's name and I typed it all in lowercase because I want to use just lowercase letters. So see how they are uh, kind of spread apart. I want to bring them closer together so I'm going to go over here to my right hand side and click ungroup and these together. I should have made it a little bit bigger before I ungrouped it, <clears throat> but it is okay. I'm going to group all of these back together. I clicked on one, I hold my shift key down, and I clicked on, I'm going to click on one Click on all the letters. I'm going to group them back together and then I can make them a little bit bigger. Okay, I did that by over here on the right hand side. If you group your, I mean if you uh, try to attach all of your letters or try to click on them and one of them doesn't move, then you didn't select it. All right, so all uh, your letters um, my little name here. So I want to, this P is like the standard P that comes in it, but I want to use one that it's called a glyph. That's how I pronounce it. It's one that's a little bit more fancy. It has some little doodles to it. So I'm going to, um, so I ungroup them again so they were uh, individual because I'm only going to change this P. Okay, so I highlight the P and then I'm going to come over here to my font book. Mine is here in my dock and I've already have heartbeat regular selected. So the P that I'm going to want I'm going is this one right here. So I click on it to highlight it and I, and I am on a MacBook. So I press command C to copy and then I'm going to go back over here to my design space and then I'm going to hit command V and I'm going to uh, it see how it's a little more fancy so then if I want I can make this a little bit bigger or you know have it the right size what, whatever I would like okay I'm gonna do the same thing with the with the Y this Y is the standard one that comes with it in the in the font but I want it to be a little curly, a little put a little curly cue just like I have here on the E. I mean on the P. Sorry, it has really been a long day. So I'm going to highlight it, highlight the, the Y, and then go back over here to my font book. And then I want to find the Y. I don't want this one because it is 
um, I want the one that they have so many glyphs or whatever you call these. I have little doodads, little curly cues. You see them on a lot of different script fonts and just different things and this is how people do them. Okay, let's see. I'm just scrolling here. Okay, this one right here. Because see how these if, if this one right here, if see how it's just different. Well, I want one that's on the end. So I'm going to hit Command C, make sure that it's highlighted. Go back over here to Design Space, click Command V, and I'm going to copy that. Okay, so I just need to rearrange that a little bit. Okay, so see, it makes it a little bit more fancy, and you can do that with any of the letters. If I wanted to do something, put a different L in there, I would highlight the L. And then I would go to my font book, copy the, le the letter that I want, and then it would make it fancy. But I'm okay with this. So I'm going to highlight all of these letters to regroup them. So I'm holding my shift key down, clicking on each one, and I'm going to group them. So that way I can move it all in one, okay? So... I'm going to insert another text and I'm going to type in her middle name. This time I've smart and remembered to uh, make them bigger with it still being grouped together. So I don't like this A, so I need to ungroup and I need to move these a little bit closer together. So I'm going to highlight the R, go over here to my font book, and find me the R that I'm going to want to use. This is it right here. Oops. Command copy. Command V. Okay. Okay, so I kind of have my um, letters the way that I want, So, but I want to make it a little bit bigger. And so let me group these back together so that I can make them one piece. And I will also weld them together so that they are one piece when I cut them out in vinyl. Weld is found in the lower right hand corner. Okay, I'm going to go here and insert an image and I want to find a crown or a tiara. So this is the one I want. It is part of the, it's a, it's one that I already have. It's called birthday cakes, but you can use any crown that you want. So I just kind of want to get the, the sizing. Okay, I think we're ready to cut this. So uh, we're going to group the paisley, let's see, Get this one, and then I'm going to group the paisley and the ray together where it's one piece, and we're going to attach that, click make it, and see then it get, makes it as one piece on the mat. It also put the square, which I'm not going to cut and then the tiara there. So I just will put, I'm going to cut this out in pink and I'm going to cut this out in chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Here is my finished project. I put the vinyl on a floss organizer that I got from Walmart for $2.97. I decorated it up with some ribbon 
and it makes a cute little gift for a three-year-old little girl. I do have some other video tutorials for Cricut Design Space. I'll leave the playlist for you here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your thumbs up, for your comments, and for your continued support. Thanks for watching and have a great day everyone. God bless.